What's going on you guys? This is actually the end of the trip, but I'm exhausted and forgot to film the beginning. We had an awesome trip, but anyways, we're down here in Alabama. Fish with my buddy John at his house. And I'm gonna let him introduce yourself. Uh, a lot of fish were caught. Uh, my hand is messed up. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. A lot of fish. And uh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I'm tired. Introduce yourself, sir. John Bowman. Killing Alabama. It's a pleasure uh, hosting Mark down here the last few days. Um, got him on some uh, little big numbers of fish. And as you'll see in the video, we the plan was to do a lot of dragging, but uh, the winds by 10, 30, 11 every day was white capping. So uh, Mark suggested we go bumping, which I'd never done. I've been wanting to learn that. And Mark schooled me. And I'm an addict now. <laughs> so <laughs> Bumping uh, fool. And guess what I'll probably be doing tomorrow? Uh, bumping. Go back and perfecting my bumping, because Mark put about 450 pounds in my boat today. And biggest one was about 50, and I know there's some bigger ones looking around. Yep. We had a couple near misses that were... Uh, big boys. Big boys. Uh, so... Yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. John was a striper guide in East Tennessee or Middle Tennessee for like three or four years, and he was in the Army for forever before that. He's a colonel. Was a colonel. I don't know how that works, but yeah. I'm tired, like exhausted. I'm about to pass out, and I'm going to drive four and a half hours back to Knoxville now, so stay tuned. The sushi train is in motion. Sushi, sushi, I don't know. I had a list there. Goodbye, Skipjack. We'll see you later. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. The Skipjack has arrived. Well, good morning from Wilson Lake here in hot as balls, Alabama. And we're going to roast here later today because it's going to get up to like 85 degrees and sunny. But first, we're going to do some catfishing for blue catfish here on Wilson Lake and get snagged a bunch for sure. But we may catch a big one too. And I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to introduce you to my buddy who's uh, had me come up and fish with them this weekend it's my first time here weekend week i don't know i don't have a job a real job i, I kind of forget what day it is but uh yeah we going fishing so we're gonna start out the day bragging this lake's like a big bowl essentially um and it's super deep according to one of my buddies it is the lake that has the biggest elevation change or rapid elevation change on the tennessee river so like wheelers above it and at that dam it's like 44 feet up at the top but then once you get here below um wilson or in wilson it averages like 40 plus and like almost everywhere else is 100 it's just crazy deep and they didn't it doesn't look like they log this lake or clear cut it before they flooded it like Teleco near me and a couple other ones. So there's just giant trees all over the bottom everywhere. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start dragging an underwater island right now. Hopefully we don't get snagged, but if we do, whatever. And uh, try to get some big old fish. Mr. John here caught us some fresh skipjack the other day. They bleed nice there. Oh yeah. And uh, we going after them. And it's a much bigger boat than Here's mine. This, this is what you like, right? Yeah, big boy. We don't want to start dragging. Yeah. He uses uh, big cat feeders too. And we're going to be dragging up a toad or something like that, I reckon. Two, three, four, five, six. Drop lines. I think I'll put a head on a drop line this time. And sure. Mix it up a little. Sounds good. 
Ne. Let's do it. Should be tempting to somebody. Hopefully not a gar. Yeah. Or a turtle. Or a turtle. Oh. We got us a couple new alpha boards too. Or one new alpha board. I've been using the crap out of this one as you can tell. It's all dirty and nasty. But we're going to be a dragon. Uh, he's got the extra heavy big cat fevers in white. Yeah. Lots of big ones. Look at them. We're in like 75 feet. About five foot off the bottom. Another two. It looks awful catfishy. Yes. Got the beak. He uses the uh, the white big cat fevers, extra heavy. I've got um, the black and medium heavy to heavy with me. Yep, that's what I'm using. Then I've got Okuma Komodos with some braid on them, 65 pound test. Hooker's terminal tackle hooks. Rattle. 100 pound slime line leader line. I use 100 because screw it. If it gets snagged, we're going to break it off anyways. If we use 80, and then we got a dirty south dragon weight, three way swivel, chain swivel, float again, big old hook. And then this one's got a double hook, same rig. So let's do it. And two yachts. Great. Coming through. Oh, yeah. Check that out. That would wake me to death in my boat. I heard the radio go blue, 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 for a second. So we're gonna get to Chuck and we're gonna start dragging early, but the wind's gonna pick up later. And this thing's like a big toilet bowl. Like the whole lake's just a big bowl. It's just huge and open. It's not like a river like, like the other ones on the system. It's kind of weird. So uh, when the wind kicks up, it kicks up here. We're gonna put a chunky on this one, just see if we can catch a fish to start out with. And then I'll put a big bait on another one. Okay. No scales on the tip. 5.6. Heads or chunks. Give her old lob out there. We're gonna click her board on. So this lake changed in depth so much. So even after it hits the bottom, I'm gonna give it like 15 to 20 feet in case we go out in the deeper water. Or we speed up a little bit and it brings that weight up because you've got the resistance of the water hitting the line that comes in and pushes it up if you go a little bit faster. So I always leave a little bit of extra um, behind your board than uh, what when it's already on the bottom just so you can control your depth if you, if you go a little deeper. But that's the idea. We're gonna get, get after it. I really like these alpha boards because they collapse in, you can move them around, like this, this hinge will come out this other side, but uh, it makes it easier to store when they're like this. They just go bloop. Sweet. Put her in there, lock her down. Get your back clip in. Check the drags on mine. I can't remember. Crank down. Yeah, crank down Yeah. I usually, I've gotten in a habit. Every time I put baits out, I'll, I'll check it. My customer, they always do. Yeah. How crank down if they messed with it. <laughs> if they messed with it or not. All right, so we got that one out. And then I'm going to get one more out now. You guys know me. I can't fish without dropping down just an unholy large bait. So that's what I'm going to do. Here. Ooh, the nostril. Oh, chilly this morning. 
It's going to get hot later, though. This is the 1st of October, and it's almost 90 degrees down here. Or will be. Oh, yeah. A sunrise and a toad bait. We got five ounces on this when we were spot locked the other day, so we're going to put one more on it so it stays straight under the boat. close it's a question oh we're gonna have to put two of the disc five ounces on it oh we brought my bucket I probably have just a oh yeah sorry a ten ouncer in my bucket gosh that thing's stuck Cast in a bucket. Mm -hmm. We got it. There's a ten. Perfect. Yeah, I think I'll get tens next time instead of eights. Since seems to be about the. Yeah, it, it keeps it just straight under the yeah. boat. Still, yeah, we're still at seventy-one. Going her on down to the depths. Do, 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 do. She going there. We put some fresh lime on this guy. We went with the neon green. Just to change it up a bit. Absolutely does not matter for catfish, but we got her put down nonetheless. So now we got three down lines. Four boards and two straight back. Dragon. Kind of like we're striper fishing. Striper fishing and cat fishing is like almost the same thing. Yeah. Like literally. Just go a little bit faster for stripers and you're using live bait a lot. Yeah. You go a little bit slower for cat fishing and you're using cut bait a lot. But literally the same gear. So it makes it nice. Yeah. Easy transition for me. Here. Right here. Oh. oh, he came off. Dang. Dang. Was that a good takedown? It was slow and steady. Really? It just came out. Yeah. Oh, that was a head. Yeah. No, that was a chunk. It was? Yeah. That's it was a slow. Out. It just was going down. Yeah. That looked like a big guy. Yeah. yeah. Dang. I mean, I thought that was about to be a toady. I wonder if that hook rolled. We well, got an old pecker boy on the outer rod. Old pecker boy. We have a pecker boy on the down line now. <laughs> I repeat, a second one. Unbelievable. Well, I'm not sure what, what we is found. That line? It's like a cable. It looks like a bridge. Well, I'm on it. Now. Are you on it? I'll be just amazed if we don't get scanned on or snagged on this. Oh, do we have the first fish of the morning? Yeah. Well, be cool, man. Oh, what do we have here? Yeah. You know, Alabama slammer, but he'll, uh, he'll pull on the line a little bit. Get the arm warmed up. You're going to go into the other line 100% though. Ripperoni. You need help on clipping your board? Maybe you got lucky. Huh? Does he have good. a little? Does he have a little weight on him? He does. For maybe it's a flat. For as little as it was pulling that board, I was expecting it to be uh, staying down. Yeah. Are those the heavies? Extra heavies. Oh well, yeah. There you go. Yeah, he's slowing the boat down a little bit. We're down to point four.
What we got? What we got? That's got some weight to it. If that's an extra heavy. Batteries like belly hooks. There's a little. There's a nibbling on it. Usually any fish over 30, 40. I'd say he's gonna go that. Any fish over 30, 40, that's more screaming. Yeah. Weird bite. We got bubbles. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> you called it. Yeah. He's lassoed. You, you called it. <laughs> well, he tried to fool us, that's right. but it didn't happen. Not today. Yeah, look, he's got him just lassoed. This one's getting snagged. <laughs> lassoed. Oh, let me get that one undone real quick. Fish numero uno of the morning. They're just waking up. Yeah. Cookie cutter blue. Back to mama. Good Bring point. grandma. Sure. This top fin's kind of screwed up. In it? Yeah. Wacky. Goodbye. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Got him. <laughs> What? Uh, pretty good. It's just dead weight right now. I mean, it has to be pretty good. I mean, it, it ripped drag on the hook set. Big head shakes. It's like he's just swimming with it right now. All right, guys. Well, slow morning so far. We got Pecker and I to death on the first spot. And we came out to 100 something feet. And we're on the ledge right now. And uh, we were dragging five rods. We're snagged up on two, just broke off, uh, or three, and we had a down line down, and uh, it got creamed, it was peeling drag. I was like, what's that sound? <laughs> Looked over, and this is falling down the water. He's not gotten all squirrely or anything yet, so I mean, he's not a five pounder, but he's not showing me what he's got yet. Got to be a decent, decenter fish because he pulled some drag. We got bubbles, so that's a good sign. We got submarine bubbles. Oh, big bubbles. That's good. There's some drag. There's some drag, baby. Big bubbles. What we got? I'm not used to fighting while I'm on it, so I just can't tell. Not a bad start. Yeah, about 15 pounder, 18. I forgot to get the net out. He's probably 16, actually. That's a good fish to start out with. He creamed it. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Good fight. Go for the fight, though, so that's good. There we go. Got him. Getting decenter. Getting decenter. Decenter. Drew. All right, how do, you, how do you do? How do you land him here? What do you do? Walking back this way. Ow! I've hit my head on this 20 <laughs> times, you guys. Good blue cat to start the morning with. We got her going with a little mini dinker. This one's a decenter fish, a decenter. Alrighty. There's the uh, number one for me down here in Alabama. I bet he's 16 to 18. What do you say? Yep. Something like that. Same with a pound or two of that. We gonna let her go. Let her grab. See ya. Boop. Now we gotta untangle all these rocks. <laughs> Unsnag, whatever. Get her done. That's slimed. <laughs> okay. Just depth that can pull you a little bit. Fish or a snag. Can't tell. What do you think? Trying to get a snag undone, guys, and this one right here is getting bit, or was. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Long line. 
fishing a bluff next to 118 feet of water and we're in like 77 on the ledge so it'd be snaggy but that's where the fish are apparently yeah rich said he had, he had about four or five break offs <laughs> grape <laughs> is what you call paying dues two now, so. three i broke one off oh, that's right That's a good line. What line you got on there? I use the uh, Berkeley Chrome. Some strong stuff. That's only 40 pounds. Yeah. If a fish is going to break that off, he deserved to be broken off. <laughs> yeah. Speed a little bit more. <laughs> Slipping out of your hand. Got it. Got it. Broke her off. Now we back to the wagon. This is a fish, you that guys. Fish. He's just swimming with it, I think. That's on a big giant hole bait. I think he's still on there. What do you think? <laughs> We're betting that there is. Oh, look at that. Yeah. What do you think? I think he's on. I'm gonna go real quick and see if we can get them. Does that have a stinger on it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got some weight. Where's he at? Huh? Where's he at? I think he's on there. I think he's like coming at me, I can't tell. Get this board off, I'll get it. He's definitely pulling something. Yeah, there's something there. You got it? Weird bite. This is on a big giant hole bait. Oh man. Down down rod just got creamed it, dropped it. You did? Yeah. We may be having a we'll have to have a double you guys. You double up and just set the phone down. I got it. I got the GoPro gone. We're fishermen, not cameramen. You guys are <laughs> lucky you're getting video. <laughs> And I'm pointing the camera straight in the sun so it shows you my skills. Let's go. <laughs> I have not. Well, there's a fish. He's another one about the other side, I think. Oh, really? Maybe. N nettable? A nettable? He may be a grippy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe gripper size. Come on, buddy. I'm going to take his jacket off here in a second. Hard to tell. This is the first time either of us have drug like a hundred Yeah, I've never drug over 80 foot before, so it's got to feel different. Come on, buddy. I'm betting he's 13 pounds. That's what my bet is. What's your bet? Well, not holding it. Let's get your other flute doing way out there. I think it spun around. I don't know. Is he on this? I don't think he's on this. No. I don't know if something hit it and spun it. I don't know how it, it totally flipped backwards. Are we going backwards? No. He's not on this. Wait, he is on this. He is on this. Is he? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was just that black line. I couldn't see it. He spins on you, it'll pop out. Unless you're holding the relic. Got the rod. I'm thinking I was maybe a yeah. little bit under. Yeah. Maybe 14. The other one's going to try to create havoc out there. Yeah. So I'm guessing 12 or 13. That was pretty much a double. We almost had a triple. They finally starting to bite y'all in the middle of the day when it's starting to get 90 degrees. <laughs> Welcome to Alabama. <laughs> he gets a one. A one. A one. <laughs> All right, we're going to bait back up. We broke off another ride. This ledge be extra nasty. And the river gods demand tribute. And they are receiving it double fold this morning. Double fold. But I'm throwing out a whole skipjack. 
Because we're in Alabama. And we want an Alabama Slamma. Ideally. But any catfish is fine. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Got one. Can we reel it in? Uh, or let it go out behind it, one of the two. Yeah. We got one, we got one. Yes, sir. Finally. We were getting pecker, pecker nads to death there for a little bit. Yeah, let it, just let it sink out behind it. Got him. I'll let this go out a little bit. Got him. GoPro, oh, yeah. Yeah, hooked up. This thing got hit pecker netted like 20 times before this finally hooked up. Yep, got it. Okay. Come on, buddy. He's one of them fun sizers. He ain't got all squirrely on me yet. Come on up here. Did you have another one? Ooh. Very nice. We're getting to the tip of this island right now. I mean, we've had a bunch of boards get popped. Yeah, one of them fun sizers. Get on up here, buddy. He's a leader fish. Bonk. Hello, hello. Got my glasses wet. <laughs> that fish is warm. Is he? Yeah, because the water's so hot. He was 70 feet down. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, that one's getting donked. This one right here. That's on a big double bait. Nah, I'm gonna throw him back. We got a GoPro pick of him. See ya. Get bigger. Time to get some fresh bait. Fresh bait. Oh yes. And that one ate a chunk. So we gonna send back out another chunk. Blonk. That one's getting hit. That one may be, nope. I thought that was about to go down. Dang. That was sussy. Well, we found a school of dinks that are active. <laughs> a school of active dinks is better than no school. I mean, if I was a big catfish, I'd yeah, eat that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd eat that. For sure. Yoink. Goodbye. Mm. That, looks, that looks better. Oh, it came off. Oh. Now he's on it. Got him. Yeah. Cool there. I don't know. Stand down. I don't know. I bet. I mean, at least five pounds. <laughs> Just make that one there. See you, 
we got here? He's about the same size, I think. Yeah. He hit it like he had something to him. I know. Yeah, he's about the same size. Maybe a little bit bigger. Because he just got slightly squirrely. Come on up here. Number two. Oh, for the morning. Come on up. Da -da -da -da. La -la -la -la. Oh, we got so deep out here. Oh. Gotta just kind of ease them up out of this, you guys. Are, I really <laughs> just give them the bends. It's work out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Heck, a 30 would be a workout from <laughs> down here. He's a little bit bigger. Try to jump. Oh, he's in the other line. Dang it. That's why I wasn't going out. Uh, gripper. He's barely hooked. Ah, you netter them. Huh? You can netter them. Got him. Okay. Fish in the boat. Fish in the boat. All right, let's see if we can get this. Put a line out real quick. Get out of there. chicken yeah i think somebody drug us from 75 feet yeah, i'd be burping too big belly egg Did I get hit right there? Whoa. fish down that looks like he was getting hit for a second i don't know well number two of the morning very good this is what they've been doing all morning if I reel that bait up, yeah, it's gonna look like that. <laughs> well, we about to do something really cool and lock through this dam. I've only done it one other time. Wilson Lock, it's a pleasure to big John. Requesting the lock down. Over. No clue what that is. So basically the way these locks and dams work, they've got a pump system that pumps the water out and lets you down and then pumps the water back in to bring it up and right now the water's down because that gate's closed right here let me zoom in on it that gate's closed so that means they're raising the water up and once it's up they'll open it and we can go in and we tie off when the doors open on the bottom end you're coming out it literally looks something like the jurassic park opening scene where they're opening it to the park i've only done this one other time and that was at uh Gunnersville Dam coming from Gunnersville Lake down to Wheeler. But it's super cool. And you can tell they're pumping or something. All this water swirling all like crazy. Yeah, you can see that boat's coming up. You can see them coming up there. So apparently at this one, they lower this gate down. Yeah, it's only got a hydraulic system. Pretty nifty. We are going into the lock. This don't matter which side, left or right, huh? I have no idea. Damn! 
Operation Catch Skippy is a go. Oh, missed one. Pop, pop. There's one. Yeah, I keep, I'm just whacking them to death. Yeah, I just saw a couple pop right there. I just saw a couple pop back there. Yoink. On, Skippy. Came off. I mean, they're just everywhere down here. This one. He just jumped out of the water after it. Oh, don't tear my stuff up. He did. He tore me all to pieces. Well, we down here skipjacking. I just tripled up. John's got a couple on at least. Oh no, look the size of that skip. That's a heifer. Holy cow. I don't know if I should net him or let's lift him. It's 20 pound test, he's good. Good? Woo! That's a good skip, that's what we want. <laughs> that's like a 20 incher. Look at the size of the thing. Heck yeah, brother. All right, we have uh, moved down and found a big old rock pile. A big old rock pile. We caught up some fresh skippies at the dam. And now... Wilson Lake turned into an ocean. Yep, so we left there. And now we're down on old Pickwicky. And there's like three rock piles behind us, basically. The long dragon leader, I'm gonna try to cast it. Pretty hard to cast. But we're gonna get him out there. Take it, take it. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be a good thing. Oh, oh! Still on it. He's coming upstream with it. Yeah, he is. Come on. Your turn or mine? Come on. I think it's gonna be a good fish. Come on. Tail put it down he came upstream we probably should have reeled down on it honestly yeah he dropped it dang that's on get him get him you're up you're up oh that's a good fish oh yeah that's a good drag yeah. heck yeah good. brother oh yeah we sitting here watching striper fishing videos <laughs> doing what we do best <laughs> good takedown huh yeah nice to be beautiful day now take some drag I can't tell what he is yet he's staying down coming at you we're it's hard to tell him this current fish current in so long we moved over from uh, that section of the rock pile over here because the barge came by and it looks like it was a good move i also marked a tree like stuck in the rock pile down there and saw some good fish on the side scan and uh old blue cat trying to jump one of them was a blue cat all right Got that junky stuff on it. Not big as I was thinking. I mean, he smacked it. It did. We'll take her. Take her. Where's the uh, Where's the grippies at? Uh, okay. Wait, we can get in that. Where, where, where? I don't know where it went. I haven't got to anchor up in current in months. I can't even remember the last time. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I can't even get to judge what this fish is because <laughs> I haven't bought one in current in so long. I ain't used to current. <laughs> oh, there was a couple good uh, little activity. They were real close together. Yeah. Oh, bite. Oh, barge bite. That's, that's a good fish. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Dark color blue, dark color blue. Well, maybe we have an inactivity period here. 
And that right there is the first Pickwick Blue on Top Knox Fishing. Alright, troll them back. See ya! Come on. Oh gosh! Go down! <laughs> Please go down. That could be a good one. That looks awful goodish. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Crap all the way. It's a 20 pounder. You just, yeah. 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 Whoa. Well, start hearing that little bit of drag going. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a 15 pounder. Really? Yeah. You're, you're going the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a 15. Well, guys, we're packing up to go bumping, and uh, we got slammed on the way out with literally like one or two rods left out. Yeah, he's squirrely. He ain't even. He's 13, maybe. Yep. It's another fish. There's, at least we're getting on some fish. I mean, surely. Yeah. Make sure you haven't thrown everything in the river at him. I'd say this is a spot we're definitely going to revisit when it ain't sucking everywhere. But we're having a good time. Come on up, buddy. He tried to grow a little bit under the boat. Uh -huh. I just saw him color. Yep, 12 pounder. Come on. Got him. Yep, literally 12 pounder. No, maybe 15. Got him on the side of the face. Burka, burka. Burka, burka. Burk, 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 burk. Ow, he hit me in the nuts. <laughs> Get out of there. Okay. There we go. Nice little 12, 13 pounder. See ya. Whoa, you see that sucker? Yeah. <laughs> Hooked up. You know, the yeah, I got it. Decent fish. We hooked up, baby. We bumping. I didn't even have the really camera going, you guys. I'm sorry. This is a decent fish. He's going upstream. GoPro, start recording. Oh, this is a good fish. Good fish. Yes, sir. First, look at that. I've been bumping. bumping. I'm in bumping training, y'all. Bumping training. Bumping training. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's digging. He's digging. He's trying to dig. Bumping, training. And we haven't been going, what, five minutes at most? Yeah, I was basically just showing him how to do it. I mean, he's digging. Look at this fish. We, I don't even have a bumping rod. It's just an anchor rod that I was like. And before this video, literally, I just literally, I just. Flathead! Flatty! I just handed him that rod like two seconds. seconds ago. Yeah. He's not hooked very good. Heck yeah. yeah. Bumping, bumping. <laughs> Did he hit hard? Oh yeah, he smacked the crap out of it. Bumping, nice flatty. Play. He's dark. Yeah, he is. Look at that. Heck yeah. Camo. Look at the yellow. That's wild. That's a beautiful Isn't fish. That? Look at that. I got a bumping flat. That's the first flathead I've ever caught bumping. Really? I've only caught blues before. Let's go <laughs> bumping. Fetish can be oh, mean. Oh yes. Oh yeah, I got it with tool hooks. She ate the whole. Oh yeah, it's down there. Oh, look at that. It's on like a. I mean, I it's... I set the crap out of it. Stay still. Stay still. It, it popped out and it rehooked itself. There we go. Sweet. My first bumping flathead. Not a monster at all, but any flathead, I'm okay with. They're my favorite, for sure. And we gonna release them. See you later, feller.
Oop. Very nice. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just leave the GoPro running uh, for as long as I got camera. We in prime time. GoPro, stop recording. They rolling, baby. GoPro, turn off. We're gonna get her done using a whole mini skippy. Perfect munching size skip. Yeah. Smaller pops. Yep, yeah, I just saw it thump. I can see the line. You did? Yeah. You could go. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah. Yep. Going down. When they hit it, you let them eat them for a second, and then uh, like free spool it, and then click over. Or? You've got circles okay. on. You've got a dale, so just click it over. Let that rod bow up, and it's real it into them. Yeah. God, I'm on. I'm just sitting in this chair. <laughs> GoPro, turn on. Ah, uh, he's like 15 pounds probably. They just hit it really hard in this current. GoPro, start recording. There he is. Hey, 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 hey. Hammer that thing. Hey. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Sorry guys, I was sitting in a chair and this thing hit. <laughs> We're bumping in nine feet of water. Chillaxing. Just chilling. Thunk. He's over 15. Yeah, 20 something. Ain't yeah. bad. Ain't bad. That ain't bad, baby. That ain't bad. Bumping, we will go. Well, there's the recliner catfish. Got him. See ya. Bumping be in you. 10 feet of water. <laughs> <laughs> well, John's got his first bumping fish hooked up. I'm going to bring the uh, pretty decent. Are you hooked with bumping now? Yeah, I'm created a monster Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you've created a monster when all else was failing we came bumping and just started bumping. popping fish oh yeah pretty decent they thumped the crap out of it yeah i had to remember i had that circle hook so i just let my thumb off the spool and let them run a little bit real down, huh? you ought to be able to know that's a solid a first better. bumping fish. A little better. He had a whole skippy. Yeah. Oh, get in here. Get in here. All right, bring it. There you go. I got it. All righty. There you go, brother. First bumping fish. Oh, that's a good one. Heck yeah, that ain't a bad way to start. I'm sold. Sold. All right, yeah, there, there is his first oh, bumping bump fish. Oh, bumper, oh, bump of source. Oops, not three times, we only got it one time, so there we go. <laughs> All right. All right, let you go. See you back in the... Good fish. Good fish. Don't take my glove. See ya. There you go. Okay, so I'm obviously back at the fish pad, you know, and uh, editing this video and realized I forgot to film an intro for um, the second day of fishing down in Bama. I really went uh, on this day to catch skipjack at the dam 
And then I got so PO trying to catch skipjack because they were just being buttholes that I started bumping. Also, I caught an osprey too. Not an osprey, a cormorant. And those things are disgusting and nasty and I hate them. And like that just ended my skipjack fishing. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to go bump below this dam. I never bumped that before. And uh, camera works not great, but before I started recording stuff, before I went to get John, I caught three fish over 30 and a 25 by myself. Um, and it was like in a row, like every pass I would hit one or two. And then I called John and I was like, hey, well, let's go, bro. Um, so that's what you're about to watch. And uh, the biggest one is a big horse. So stay tuned. Yeah, it's fish, okay. I don't know. See, he's not pulling any drag when he does that. That's the thing. I think he's snagged. He's not getting any drag. Coming up at all. I see it. It's a flathead. It's flathead. That's a big one. Too flatty. Alright. Yeah, look at the color. Beautiful. Whitehead. Beautiful. Yeah. Last one. Nice, nice. That's a beautiful fish. It is. More left this time? Yeah. I was trying to get like nose first into the boil. Again, this one may be a little decent.
this bitch. Beauty. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> That's like my fifth one at like 40 pounds. <laughs> I gotta go back to the gym. <laughs> this is the gym. This is country boy gym. Right, I'm gonna get yours off the boat. Oh yeah, you got an easy 50. Easy. You think it's 50? Oh yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, nice, it is a 50. Yeah. No, Ooh. no doubt. I caught a 50 in Alabama finally. Nice. 50 in Alabama. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one from the back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is the first time I've ever done it down here. <laughs> and the scary part, that's not even halfway to the state record. <laughs> you got another bit on. Gosh, here we go again. <laughs> well, that was, uh, I don't know, I probably caught 500 pounds of catfish. <laughs> no one. Foaming. Well, thanks for coming along with John and I on another adventure with Top Knox Fishing down in Alabama on Wilson, Wheeler, and Pickwick for a couple of fun days of fishing. We didn't get that 100 pounder we were hoping for, but we did end up getting on a crazy fun bumping bite at the very end there that I was not expecting. That's why I didn't have my GoPro on or any of the other cameras rolling. Uh, but we did get some footage on his GoPro, and thank you for letting me steal your SD card, John, uh, to put in this video. So yeah, had an awesome time. We found a lot of great spots we're going to fish here this winter, and I'm probably going to bring the pig sled down there uh, during the winter sometime because I also found, or we, also found a bunch of islands on this section uh, that's public water, and when the water drops, it'll be a great place to pull the boat up on the bank after a day of fishing 
and put a bunch of bank rod holders out, cast them out, have a fire, cook some dinner, and uh, make some really cool videos. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, you're going to want to stay tuned. I'm back here in Knoxville now. The flathead bite is on fire, and we are chasing this fish that has broken us off two times in a row now called Bruiser. Um, we've been jugging and have just gotten destroyed. Um, my girlfriend actually hooked him first and uh, just solid weight, and it was just like pulling her down in the water. I'm like, is the boat still moving? No, it's not still moving. No head shakes, no nothing, and it just pulls her straight down and pop! She about goes flying back. And then, man, that hurt. And like, she was like, dang. But I was like, honey, like, that was a giant, giant catfish. And then she proceeds to catch a 40 plus pound flathead right after that. And uh, didn't do anywhere near what that thing did to her. So I was like, hmm, something's going on here. That's a monster. So Brian and I went back two days later. Same deal. Jug goes down, pops back up. Two minutes later, we go chase it. Pop goes back down, and then eventually we grab it. Same deal, just slow, steady pressure, and then boop. So uh, we're going to go back for rod and reel fishing on this guy, and his name is Bruiser, and he's got two 12 watt Mad Catter HD circle hooks in the corner of his jaw, and by golly, we're going to get him in. So if you don't want to miss that, hit that like and subscribe button, and we're going to be chasing this big giant flathead, and I think this guy's going to be the biggest flathead that's ever been on my boat. So stay tuned, you guys.